Welcome to Tech Savvy. We're out here at West Point Lake and we're just, it's just a fabulous location. And this is, this is the fun part about the job is getting to come to these beautiful places and talk about what we're doing at West Georgia Tech. My name is Lee Newman and I am the Associate Provost at West Georgia Tech, the LaGrange campus. And in the spirit of the summer at the lake episodes that um, we're doing, I am so excited about having this opportunity to talk to you about our programs that we offer during the summertime, which is for a lot of transient students or students that are going to a main college like a university system, West, West Georgia or University of Georgia, but they're coming home, they're staying at home with their parents during the summer and they're playing at the lake and they're enjoying their, their time away from the big colleges and they're getting some credits, college credits, while they're here. So we are going to talk about that. I have a great, stu a great instructor here um, to, to discuss what's going on. She is, uh, Trish Ivey is an English instructor at West Georgia Tech, and she's on the LaGrange campus. And she, is, she teaches the general ed classes, or the core classes. She gets to see a lot of these transient students. And so, Trish, thank you for joining thank us today. You. Isn't this gorgeous? This is a beautiful place. I love it. The weather's perfect. You know, I could get used to this kind of office space. I could, too. <laughs> I love the birds singing today. Oh, it's it, background music yes, is what it is. That's right. I have a little laryngitis. I hope you can understand me, but um, I love the, the birds. I'll bring my students out here, and we'll study Shakespeare and Wordsworth. That's what we'll do. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. Well, Trish, tell us about... Um, <laughs> First, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us about your um, background, your experience, and what you teach. And then we'll go on and find out some more specifics about okay. our summer students. I'd love to. Um, I do teach English, and I have for going on 14 years at West Georgia Technical College. I've taught at other colleges as well, Columbus State University being one of them. And I do find the caliber of our students is wonderful. Um, these students want to learn. Um, we're talking about the summer semester just right now, and we do have some transient students. Uh, a lot of the students are coming in to our campus. They're taking their English uh, Core 1101 or 1102 American Literature classes. Um, they're enjoying the, the caliber of the students there, um, or it meets their own. They, they like the size of the classes. Some of the classes have 14 and 15 students in them. Some of the classes have 30 students in them. But they do get individual care. I know all the students' names, or I'm learning all of the students' names. Um, I think they enjoy the um, size of the classes, but they also enjoy, for the summer, it's just an eight-week semester. It goes pretty fast but they know up front that it's going to, and they accept that. It's an eight-week semester. Just about any uh, college that you go to, it's going to be that way. So they can move fast, um, learn what they're learning, and come out here to the lake if they want to. And that's the joy of a summer semester. Right. Um, I teach 1101, 1102, 2130, which is an American Lit class. There's other literature classes out there. There's humanity classes for students in the lit. There's math classes that you can go through pretty quickly. We offer calculus classes. There's sociology, uh, history. There's other classes out there that you can take, get your core classes, go back to the, uh, the college that you were going to in the fall, and you still have a break in between. I think it's just the best of both worlds. It definitely is. And <clears throat> we're very fortunate to be able to, tra or tra we're a college of transferable credit. Right. And so we meet the same qualification standards that West Georgia, University of West Georgia, or um, I think Columbus State, That's University right. of Georgia, Georgia Tech. So mm -hmm. it, the students don't skip a beat. They, they just kind of add some time on, you know, they take care of some of the important credits and then they, and then they are able to get through faster. That's right. I have two students right now, a set of twins, and they're, they're going back to Georgia Tech. Uh, they say that, um, that they learn a lot. They've learned a lot from me already in two weeks, and they're going to take it back when they have to write their research papers at Tech. 
I have several students that go to Columbus State, many students who go to the University of Georgia, and uh, that's okay. They'll just learn what they have to learn and take it back with them when they go to, to the state university system. Right. It's all right. We have, we're SACS accredited, so those, those classes are transferable. We have articulation agreements with many, many colleges, and all those courses are going to transfer right back out. Right, so. right. Well, tell me about some of these classes are um, all classrooms. So you'd be going to class maybe five hours a week, maybe two right. times two and a half, two and a half hours. Right, two and a half hours, two days a week for the seated classes. But we offer what's called a hybrid course, um, where you go one day a week. And then the other day that you would have come to class, you're um, in an angel program, which is uh, online. That's the best of both worlds. I think so many students like that. You save on gas or childcare. Um, you're still working and you're still producing. And um, you get to know the instructor. You get to know your classmate and your colleagues as well. I love the hybrid. Many students do. Um, then you have online, your typical online classes, and we've got a lot of those. I have one class right now that has 32 students in it online, and no one's dropped out. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I want anybody to, but they stay in the class. They see what it's all about. You sign in with discussion boards, and you take tests, and you write assignments, and you're through in eight weeks. It's just a great thing. And it's certainly not an easier no, class. it's not. It's not easier. As you, compared to university system. No, it's not. I don't think so. We're not trying to compete with them, but I think we have, um, we, that we, we're up to their standards and they're up to ours. I think it's an equal playing field. Well, I know that I've heard from other students that have done this in the past, like last summer. They said, no, it's not any easier. No, it's not. Mm -mm. And it's, it's, Sometimes it's probably a little bit more challenging too because the classes are smaller and you get more direct right. supervision, so to well, speak. Well, you do, you do. And um, sometimes when students take an online class, I have had, I have heard this. Some some teachers don't respond. They say um, they don't answer. Um, our, I believe that our our instructors do. They answer the uh, emails within 24 to 48 hours. It's not that they're told to do it. It's because they enjoy it. That's what brings our students back to our online classes. I think online is an outstanding opportunity for a lot of people that ha require the flexibility. It is, and, and you are, you do have the flexibility mm -hmm. with online. You're right at home. You can take a class in your pajamas. I've done it. How about taking a class and sitting on the deck watching the I know it. people ski by, you know? <laughs> I just, oh, that sounds like just heaven that get, and getting some credit done, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. I've done it. I've, did, I've done it in grad, grad school, and um, now I teach it. For t and, and it is the best of both worlds. It really is. It saves you a lot of money. you got to be very, very disciplined to log well, in every day. Well, that's the key. That's yeah. the key. And I think... <laughs> When somebody signs up for an online class or a hybrid class, like you say, you've got to tell them up front, if you're not disciplined and you don't have time management skills, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to do well in this That's class. Right. That's right. And I think students kind of find out what's going on and they, they decide, is this, is this for me? Mm -hmm. It's not for everybody. But if you, if you like online, you can take so many of your courses at almost any college nowadays online, mm -hmm. so many of them. And it's, the, it's just a great thing. You just have to kind of, like you said, be disciplined, learn how it works, email your instructor, and those instructors are told and expected to e email you back within a reasonable amount of time. Mm -hmm. and, it, and the system really works. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in it. I am, and lots of Me things too. you can learn. And see, the experience that people are getting online and using the computer, that en enhances their computer skills. Yeah, that's right. And right now, that's one of those big demanding, you know, demands from industry is we need to have somebody that has good computer skills. Right. And that's, that's right. a good thing to be able to do. And the time management part is one of those skills that, our industries are looking for now mm -hmm. that if you've got good time management skills and project management that's skills, right. they're looking for you. I know. They need you to do it. And this is all part of the training. That's right. I think critical thinking skills just in any industry is what people are looking for. Problem solving. Um, I just think if you've got those, they're in there innate. 
um, you can learn them as well. That's what that's what we're looking for in the industries today, and uh, it's very very important. I ask people to consider putting those uh, on your resumes today. I think it's important to put it on yeah, there. I, think I do so too. because some you know if you don't put it on there, then people aren't going to know you can do it. I know it. I know it. That's, so, uh, I'm glad you brought that up too. Uh, it's way. very important, but that's part of the technical education process. That's exactly right. We, we're preparing our students for the real world. For the real world. That's our slogan, as a matter of fact. I know, I know it. And Good it's important that people understand that. Time management skills, we're teaching them computer skills. I mean, I say indirectly, but it's all part of it. But then we, um, we also are able to teach them the technical skills, like the English, the literature, and all that. You, you were covering the list of other core classes that we're offering, which would be the math, That's right. I, I think, all the introductory math classes, right. introductory to psychology, to sociology, to music, I think is one. Yes, we have it. Arts. So I was looking at the list and the articulation agreement or the correlation between, you know, what we're offering in like Columbus State or offering, it's, it's amazing. Yes. And, and they, and they have, we have the numbering system, like if they have English 1101 in the um, university system, we have those same numbering systems. So when you get your transcript and you're ready to transfer in, it's not a complicated system. Your transcript's going to line up with their transcript system. So it, we've made it easy. Well, the that's, semester that's system. a great idea. Yes, it is. Well, we're about out of time for the first session, but I wanted to, you know, make sure that the, the the viewers understood that we're trying to impress on the opportunity that you know we are available in the summertime we're less expensive than the Board of Regents we're more convenient we probably have smaller class sizes so it is a certainly a good option to consider if you are planning on coming home for our summer to, for break but we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll keep on talking about all this fun stuff we're going on while we sit at the lake and enjoy the sun and the cold beverages and, <laughs> and all that goes along with the package. Welcome back to West Point Lake, and we're doing the episode at the lake. It's I'm Lee Newman, and I am with West Georgia Tech, and I'm associate provost. And we're getting to talk about how the advantages of West Georgia Tech in the summertime and being able to play at the lake all at the same time. It is it's so beautiful out here. The lake is gorgeous. The weather's perfect. I think you know the staff probably did really well picking out, making sure the weather turned out well. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Trish Ivey's here, our instruct she's one of our instruct instructors in English at West Georgia Tech on the LaGrange campus, and she's here to describe her life, her students' lives during the summertime and the benefits of coming to West Georgia Tech during the summer, getting the credits, the general ed credits. And um, I mean, it's just a win, 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 win situation for everybody because you're able to get classes, credits towards your degree during the summertime and have an opportunity to be in this beautiful environment out at the lake. All right, Trish, um, we've got a new pilot going on at West Georgia Tech, and I honestly am not familiar with it. Can you explain it? It's about, it's, it's the early introductory 
core classes that we do we're doing and how are we handling that as is it as it as opposed to what we used to do or what uh, the other options available yeah i want to i want to talk about it and brag about it I, we've had a sign off <clears throat> excuse my laryngitis we've had a sign off for the last year <clears throat> and what it entails is 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 um complete georgia so it, it goes up to the um high ranks of of the state of Georgia all the way up to the governor. He, it's, his, it's his baby, so to speak, and we all are loving being a part of it. And uh, what, what we want to do, it, it, it's a part of, the, of, of getting these students to complete their education quicker. And so our, our um, pilot involves a student who maybe has not passed the compass the compass is a test that gets you into, let's say, for instance, English 1101. And he or she has not passed that compass, which in English needs to be a 62. So she, he or she wants to get on into English 1101. So we put that student into two classes at the same time. The pilot entails an 090 class for English at the same time that student takes an English 1101. So there's kind of a lot of uh, demand for that student to really want to uh, pass both classes. Uh, the same teacher teaches both classes and that works. So far for the last year, four semesters, we th excuse me, three semesters, we've had 100% pass rate. That is Unbelievable. It really is. I'm, I'm so excited for the LaGrange campus and now we have this pilot going on other campuses too. Uh, we piloted it here, actually I did, and, um, but we have had the sign off for, um, for several vice presidents. You as a provost, um, you're excited. Uh, we've had Creighton Kelly, um, our DI, um, he's, uh, he's signed off on it. Uh, D. Coulter, who's one of my supervisors, has signed off on it. Um, Brian Barkley, I mean, we've had a lot of people saying, Trish, we really want this to work. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so um, the students um, have taken the 1101. So let's say that student makes an A or a B in 1101 and makes an A or a B in 090 with a, a Pearson computer program based um, um, curriculum. Curriculum, yes. Um, but he, he or she didn't pass the compass. Oh my gosh, I've got to go back and give that student a D in both courses. That's devastating. No way. But, but it hasn't happened. When that student goes and takes the compass test on a computer at the end of the course, he or she has passed and both of those um, class, classes he's passed and kept his A or B. Then he moves right on into English 1102 or American Literature or whatever other curriculum courses he wants to take, but that English 1101 drives every other course. It drives a Psychology 1101, it drives a History. You know, it, it'll keep you from taking those courses till you take 1101 and you pass it. So there's a lot of excitement. I mean, I'm hugging those students in the hallway. Yay, I mean, everybody gets excited. And, and then you just move on. And time-wise, you're not taking this semester waiting to go to this semester. You just move on. So it's a lot of excitement, but it's a lot of work. And, and I think it, it's, self, it's a lot of self-esteem. It's a lot of ego built into it, a lot of pride. It's a lot of time. And, and, and we've got students passing, and I just think it's the best thing we've ever done. Well, so in other words, what, what is, what, su I mean, the, the 0900 or the 090, 0090 class, which would be a remedial class. It would be. It's, uh, I think they call it learning support Learning class. support class. Okay. In that class, you're doing basic grammar. You are? You're doing? Basic punctuation, basic grammar, basic sentence, syntax. Uh, subject and verb agreement, those kinds of things, mm -hmm. but maybe a student just didn't test well on a compass, which is a compass um, score that you need to get into the degree classes. But the thing that's important to know about that is if you don't make good on the test, whether or not you are good in testing, you need to have those skills pretty much honed in in order to be successful in the 
following Absolutely. classes. Absolutely. And it's a big deal in your communication skills, too. It's a if big you, deal. If you, your grammar and all that, of course, as we talked about, you know, what industry is looking for, they need good communication skills yes. in their employees. And yes. being able to talk with proper grammar is very impressive. Yes. I mean, I'm one of those old English people that used to, you know, if somebody uses poor grammar with me, I kind of shut off, you know, and <laughs> so I know how important English is. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and so I understand that no being able to do that, but then if you're in the 0090 and the 1101, what's the difference in the two? Um, like, what do you cover in the 1101? Well, you still do cover you know, a lot of basic punctuation, but um, pretty much you're uh, you're covering both in the same class, some of the same information, but you're you're it's on a, it's up a, 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 the basics, and then it's on a higher level, and you're going at a pretty fast rate. And 090, you're slowing it down, and and you're going way back to the basics, and then you're covering it with a, a computer-based uh, program in 090, and you're not using a computer-based program in 1101. Oh, you're not in 1101. Not at all. That's mm -hmm. all class. It's all classroom lecture, mm -hmm. note taking, and um, then you've got a lot of tests going on too. But um, then uh, most uh, mostly it's essay writing. On uh, 090 has three uh, short essays, but um, it's it's really basically test get, test taking. Well, do you see <laughs> a dramatic improvement in these students' com communication skills, verbal skills, written communication skills in these classes? I do, I do. I mean, because of, they come in and they're really not aware as as aware as we feel like they should be in the in the process right. and the the structure exactly and so when they leave they're able to write you know or verbally and written communication in a that's right dramatic because you're not doing them any favor if they're not leaving with these skills I, I totally agree I think that everybody and in any college you take 1101 is required it's, it, it, it sets you up to be able to communicate right and verbal uh, to, with verbal skills uh, for the rest of your life it, it's basic, and you cover a lot in that class to, to include research papers and three, four, five essays, and they're pretty lengthy essays. Mm -hmm. We have some great instructors, I feel, on our campus that, who are full-time instructors. We have Professor Bob Bales, we have Professor Donald uh, Miller, and, and they care. Um, they're, um, they, they're not, they don't slack up with those students at all. They're very well respected. And, and, and like I said, the, 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 and you did too, the classroom sizes are not too, they're not too crowded. They get a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. We have, I want to mention too, if you don't mind, that we have some great tutors, math tutors, um, they, and, and English tutors, and they've been there lots of years, and they're so dedicated. Um, I, I tell those students all the time, you need to go to the tutor and if you want to turn a B paper into an A or a C paper into a B, you should go. Um, we provide those services. They don't cost those students nothing. Um, I just think it's there for the taking. So many students, you know, go. I also want to mention we've got some of the best librarians. So why wouldn't you go to some of the, the best, most qualified, educated with master's degree librarians and and make the best um that you can on the papers that we give so between you know what we have there um in the way of services and and the caring atmosphere on our campus i just think you can get the great great there education. are no there are no barriers to becoming there are, successful exactly. in our at I call right. There are no barriers. And all five campuses uh, with West Georgia Technical College offer, we all have uh, tutors, math and English. We all have librarians who are qualified, and I've met them all, and they're, they're great. very caring, they're great. very caring people. Yeah. They are. I've got to brag just a little bit. No, you don't have, you, listen, help yourself, because yeah. I'm very proud to be a part of it. I all. am too. And the fun thing about the LaGrange campus is we're on the lake. Yeah. We're, we're on the lake right now. And, and this lake is beautiful yeah. and, and you, can, you can go to school and enjoy the lake life. It's a pretty good deal. It's going to be hard to go back to work today. I'm going to stay right I here know. I'll kind of enjoy it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing the birds twerping right now. Right, right. Sounds good. Well, we, um, we are 
we're in the middle of summer semester now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that might be watching us now thinking, God, I wish I could, could, could have gotten into that sooner. Yeah. Well, we'll be here next summer. That'd be great. And we'll be able to do the same <coughs> thing. The, you can go online to, um, to www.westgatech.edu and you can find out everything you need to know about what, what the steps are for um, getting signed up as a, uh, a transient student or you can certainly do all you need to do um, to sign up for classes and we are we've got a really good number of students this summer they are taking all kinds of classes they're taking the core they're doing the industrial maintenance they're doing our automotive they're in our healthcare classes they're in our computer classes a radiology we just got a brand new x-ray machine that yeah. uh, we were so fortunate the um, Warm Springs, yes. the Roosevelt Institute it was so nice to do, to provide us with that. We're very proud of that, and so it's going to make a big difference in the radiology it's department. Be great. They're going to be very good. Mm -hmm. But um, so <coughs> to to kind of wind things up, tell me tell me if you were in a situation and you had children, or you decided, well, you know, it's summertime and. I don't know. I don't. I really need to take a break in college. What I mean? How would you? How could we convince somebody to come do this? Well, <clears throat> I have two children. Um, they both have four-year degrees, and they asked me that same question: um, Should I go summer or take a break? And I said, Summer's a shorter semester at the schools that they respectively went to. I have a son who who went summer semester to uh, West Georgia Technical College. He got psychology and English courses kind of out of the way. Uh, he loved it. Uh, it wasn't any easier, and he told me that. He adored both the professors he took. Um, he didn't get A's in both of them, and he's an A student. But um, he, um, he said they, they knew my name. They um, helped me. He said he, he, he wanted to have fun on the lake, and that's what he did. So he made an A and a B that semester, I think. But he, he got both those classes in an eight-week session, kind of out of the way, went back to the college where he was attending, and, um, and, and he, he went, check, check, you know. Oh, that's so great. I, and he, he sold it. He said, I loved this school. I never would have gone there if you hadn't just kind of told me to do it, Mom. So, um, I, I mean, and that, that's, a, that's a college student. He was like 20 years old when he did it. And, and, it's, and those are the ones that want to get out of class early and go get on the lake yeah. and go skiing and mm -hmm. swimming. That's and just exactly what he did. Oh, I don't blame him a bit, yeah. especially places like this. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is beautiful. Well, we've run out of time. I so appreciate you making Thank the trek you. out here Thank to La you. West Point Lake. And this is what we call our adventure. This is an adventure just getting here with you today, <laughs> but we, we had our road map, so we made it. Thank we you for it. the invitation well, we're and just, all these nice people for setting it up for us. Well, thank you for coming, and thank you for all you do at the college and taking Appreciate such it. special care of your students. Thank you so much. Well, it's time to go. I sure do wish we had another couple of episodes out here at the lake because this sure is pretty. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Um, thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Lee Newman. I'm Associate Provost at West Georgia Tech on the LaGrange campus. And if you ever have any questions or want more information, just visit us on our website, www.westgatech.edu. And thank you again for joining us.